Hey everybody, today I am making a keto pulled pork noodle and cheese casserole. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you check out some of my other videos and my website where I do keto and carnivore cooking recipes, other ideas that have helped me lose over 125 pounds. And I invite you to come along this journey with me as I try to get the rest off. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I hope you liked today's video. So I have some leftover that I want to use up today. I'm going to make a casserole. Have you ever had a um, pulled pork macaroni and cheese casserole? That's what I'm going for here. Normally it's made with macaroni, lots of cheddar, the pulled pork, a little bit of barbecue sauce on top. It's going to be similar. Barbecue sauce, of course, is optional. The more carnivore you are, the less extra ingredients you want. Um, instead of the macaroni, I'm going to use my egg fast pasta noodles. I will link the recipe card down below. I have done it on other videos. So I'm going to bake those noodles first. And this is something I would typically do, say, maybe a few days ahead of time. I might make a you know double recipe of noodles and just have them on hand for recipes like this. Um, they're easy to keep in the freezer or on hand, but I'm gonna make them now for those of you who are new to the channel and have never seen me make noodles like this before. So let's get started. All we need for these noodles is two tablespoons of butter, which I'm going to melt, three whole eggs. In this version, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of whole egg powder. Now, if you don't have whole egg powder, maybe you have egg white powder, you could add that. Um, maybe you have some protein powder, some unflavored protein powder. I don't think it really has to be the whole egg powder, but I'm trying to use mine up. So that's what I'm using today. Also, usually what goes in is a pinch of salt and some uh, garlic powder. And I'm just gonna use some organic uh, garlic salt from Redmond's Real Salt. I like this stuff. And, and that's it. Um, then it, I'm gonna pour the batter in here, let the sheet bake in the oven, and then cut it up into short noodles, like kind of like the size of egg noodles. And that's going to be our macaroni. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get started with that. I'm just gonna go microwave this. You could probably do this in a blender as well. And I'm just gonna use my mixer because it's handy. All right, I've got my melted butter. I have my oven set to 325. So I'm going to break these eggs and beat them up. So once the eggs are light and fluffy, you can add in the dry ingredients. I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of the garlic salt and one tablespoon of powder. And then I'm gonna mix this for a couple minutes. So once the mixture looks, you know, thicker than it did before, um, I'm just gonna add in the melted butter. Uh, just dribble it in slowly while you can, it's almost like making mayonnaise, um, you know, and it'll probably look a little bit fluffy like mayonnaise, but we don't really wanna get to mayonnaise. Um, I don't think there's enough butter for that anyway. So I'm going to start drizzling that in. going to pour it into the pan. So this is a 15 by 17 inch pan. I've got my silicone liner with the lip. I'm going to put two links below. So, you know, whatever your preference is, uh, you can get it from Amazon. Although I don't know if you can get this exact size. I love this size. 
The other place where I got this is from Epic here. So both those links will be below. And I'm just going to pour this in basically. And then it's just a matter of letting it uh, spread out. So this needs to bake for um, eight to 10 minutes. Now, I did discover the last time I made noodles that my oven seems to need a little bit longer. So, you know, this is, everybody's ovens are different. And so you want it to start curling up. Okay, so I am going to check my card first. Oh, yes, eight to 10 minutes or until edges begin to curl up. So I'm gonna bake this for that long and then I'll see you back in the next segment when I have the sheet of noodles. Okay, so they are out of the oven. Uh, I went for two extra minutes, so 12 minutes. And I have some issues in my oven. I, it did that thing, I had it on the bottom rack and it was super thin here and very thick there. But I literally just had to, you know, turn this, like loosen the edges, turn this sheet over on top of here and it, the sheet then just peeled right off. So I'm just removing the super crispy parts here where it was very thin. Teddy likes those. This part here, not so happy with, but it's gonna be enough noodles for the casserole. I'm gonna use my little hand cutter here. You can use a pizza cutter. You can watch my noodle cutter review where I went through everything from this to the hand crank one to the one that hooks up to your KitchenAid. Um, but I, I just need some basic noodles here. Yeah, I have to press really hard. Um, and I am gonna shorten the noodles as well because I don't want long ones. So oh, there we go, that's working, okay. There might be some in the middle here that don't work out so well, but that's okay. And as usual, my driving is crooked, so <laughs> that's okay too. They are going to make perfectly good noodles for this casserole though, and that's the main thing. Now I do have uh, other noodles. I have ones made out of chicken. I have one, the, I think the, the favorite one for people seems to be the one made with cream cheese and pork rinds. I'm gonna link that below. They are an extremely good noodle, but um, I, I came up with some of these other ones because not everybody can do uh, pork. So there's lots of choices. I even have a pasta playlist on YouTube because I've done many pasta type recipes. There we go. We have enough noodles. I'm just going to cut the rest of this this way because I, I kind of want them to be about this size. All right. So I'm going to let those uh, sit here for a bit um, and then get everything out that we need for to assemble the casserole. Um, I have a couple other things to do as well, and I'm having this casserole for dinner, so I'm not quite ready to make it yet. We will see you in the next segment when we use these shortened, shortened noodles to make a noodle and cheese pulled pork casserole. Okay, I have everything ready here to do the casserole. I've got, let's go over the ingredients. I have one pound of leftover pulled pork. This is the same pork that I made the other night. Um, I will link that video down below. It was epic. In this sauce, there's going to be a quarter cup of uh, heavy cream, a quarter cup of the pork jello. What is pork jello? It is the jell jellified gelatin. It's the jelloed liquid that was left over in the crock pot after I finished making the pork. Well, it was liquid then, you put it in the fridge. When you take the fat off of that, which you can use for cooking, you're left with what I call jello. Very tasty. 
if you didn't have this, like say you just bought pulled pork or say you just had the pork, you didn't have your jello, just use a quarter cup of any type of stock. And um, if you didn't have any stock of any kind, um, you could probably just use water. Um, it's just to thin out the sauce a bit. Um, in the sauce, there's three different kinds of cheese. I've got uh, cream cheese. This was, when I weighed it, it was about six ounces and I just kind of mooshed it up into small pieces. Got a cup of grated um, extra old cheddar cheese, half a cup of grated mozzarella, and I've saved a little bit. It's probably about another quarter cup in total here of a combination of the two to sprinkle on top. And I've got a couple of green onions here. Um, if, if you are like pure carnivore, everything else here is a meat product. Just leave those out. If you're ketivore like I am, there's green onions. You don't have to have them. Um, some people put more vegetables in this, but this is it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the stove we're going to saute the green onions, or the white part of the green onions with the butter. Then I'm gonna use these cheeses to make a sauce um, with that as well. And uh, yeah, you'll see it all come together as, as we go. But I just wanted, to know, wanted you to know what was actually going into this casserole. So we'll meet you back at the stove. Okay, so I have got the butter uh, going in the pan here. I have the oven turned on to 350. So we're just going to let this butter heat up and then we'll get this sauce going. I want to start just by sauteing the kind of the white parts of this green onion, which like I said, totally optional. Now I am going to be baking this casserole in this pan. So, I mean, it's one of the, one of the things I really like about um, these braising pans is you can prepare everything in the pan, put the lid on, put it in the oven. Um, but if you didn't have something like this, you could easily make the sauce in a saucepan and then just layer everything else in your casserole dish. I mean, I, either way works. I just happen to have this and uh, if I can use one pot and not two, I'm all for it. I just want to get the whites translucent. Okay, I am going to start adding my cheeses. So I've got uh, six ounces of cream cheese here. Throw in my pork jello, or like I said, whatever stock, you know, chicken stock, whatever you have on hand is good. Now, also, I had this cream cheese at room temperature for a while just so it would hopefully melt a little faster and easier. Okay, that's, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to start putting in my other cheese. That's half a cup of shredded mozzarella, one cup of cheddar. It's gonna be a nice, uh, thick, cheesy sauce. My oven is ready. I'm gonna add my cream in here. The, the pork, I, I'm not even gonna add salt to it because the, the pork jello has, uh, has a lot of flavor from cooking that roast for eight to 10 hours. Okay, so I am going to turn that right down to low and the noodles are going in. Not quite macaroni, but they will 
make perfectly acceptable noodles for this dish. Cheesy noodles. And then on top of that, I am going to place the pulled pork and then just kind of spread it around so that it's evenly placed. Now, what a lot of people do um, is then on top of this, they would add some barbecue sauce. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go with the cheesy, the cheesy noodles and pork. Um, I am going to put a few green onions on top, add a little bit of color, the rest of this cheese, and then it's gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes covered with my lid here. Okay, we'll see you back here in 20 minutes. Oh, look at that. Okay, take a look at that. Now I know what some of you are thinking. More cheese. More cheese. I think it's pretty cheesy myself. For someone who doesn't do a lot of cheese, this is cheesy. But of course you can always add more cheese. And you can always add the little bit of barbecue sauce. There's only two green onions in there. I kind of like the green pop of color that it adds. So what does it taste like? I will just grab a spoon and a bowl and we will find out. Before I forget though, um, I did in the last five minutes of cooking, I reached in and I took the lid off because I thought it would you know, brown the, the edges nicely and, and it looks like that it has. Um, so it baked for about 22, 23 minutes. Okay, so I am going to put some in a bowl and oh, look at that cheese sauce down there. We've got noodles, we've got pulled pork, and we've got cheese. I'm just gonna put a little bit in here, it's still piping hot. Um, let me get some down here with the noodles. I was I had a salt here just in case. I don't I don't think I need to add it. Boy, is that ever good. Talk about comfort food. It is a warm, hot, steamy, cheesy, porky, yummy, delicious casserole. Perfect for some of these fall nights that are coming along. So I hope you give it a try. Um, it is delicious, and I am going to go off and uh, fill this bowl some more and eat my dinner. So we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. This camera? So I... <laughs> Just gonna go microwave this. What did you say? Microwave, microwave.